Hello everyone, this is Kevin with Balan Brands and today I'm going to discuss HTTP status codes and how they relate to search engine optimization. When a website visitor or search engine crawler visits a page on your website, the server sends out a three-digit status code in response. Today we'll look at four of the most important of these codes. 200, 301, 404, and 410. 200 status code. The 200 status code is the most common and tells web browsers and search engines that the requested page was successfully found. All of your existing web pages will return this code. 301 status code. The 301 status code tells web browsers and search engines that the requested page has been permanently moved to a new location. This status code is important for SEO. If you ever change the URL of an existing page or move the page to a new location, be sure to set up a 301 redirect from the old URL to the new URL. Remember to only use a 301 redirect when the old URL and new URL have identical or closely related content. A common mistake is believing that all of your deleted pages should be 301 redirected to your home page. In most cases, this is not a good idea. It can confuse your website visitors and have a negative effect on SEO. 404 status code. The 404 status code tells web browsers and search engines that a requested page couldn't be found. You may have heard that 404s are bad for SEO, but that isn't necessarily true. 404s are a normal and expected status code for pages that don't exist. However, if your website contains a large number of broken links due to misspelled URLs or outdated content, this can have a negative impact. It's a good idea to occasionally check your website to find and correct broken links. 410 status code. The 410 status code tells web browsers and search engines that a requested page has been permanently removed and will not return. This status code can be useful when you've deleted a page from your website that has no relevant replacement page for you to 301 redirect to. This code tells Google and other search engines to stop trying to access the page and remove it from the index. The 404 and 410 codes are very similar, and in most cases, a 404 can be used in place of a 410. But using a 410 for a permanently deleted page might help Google to remove that page from the index quicker. This helps Google to spend time crawling pages that matter, rather than returning to pages that no longer exist. For more great videos and tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about HTTP status codes, feel free to leave a comment below the video, and we'll see you next time.